My name is John Dyson. I'm a graduate student here at UNCG. I live in Stony Point, North Carolina, and I'm a first year graduate student in the counseling and educational program. At the age of nine, I was diagnosed with a retinal degenerative disease called retinitis pigmentosis. And it's just been a slow process. I, would to I was told I would be totally blind by the time I was 21. I'm 40 years old now, and I drove up until I was 27 when it was no longer safe for me to drive anymore. But it's still it's becoming more and more difficult. It's like a slow process. It's a death that you know is coming, but you don't know when, and it's just very, very slow. I dropped out of high school when I was 18 years old. I was in my senior year, and I actually dropped out in January of that academic year because I had failed so many classes that I was having to take night classes, and I had purchased a car so I was working and working nearly full-time after school taking all my day classes and night classes was just too overwhelming and I really didn't see the need in it at the time and so I decided to drop out and uh, joined in the workforce and that's when I started my career in uh, furniture manufacturing trying to come back in to school because I'd been in the workforce for quite a while and getting the opportunity to come back to school was quite hard. I have felt and do still feel alienated at times on campus because of just people's apprehension about approaching someone with a disability, not knowing how to interact with them. But actually once they get to know me, they're like, wow, he's just a normal guy who just doesn't see very well. I have a guide dog with me. Sometimes people will interact with me, sometimes they won't. And I just can't walk up to someone and say, hey, how are you? Unless we're in an elevator going upstairs or something like that because I don't know if they're interacting with something else. My family right now, I have my wife Shannon and we have two beautiful children, Caleb who is seven and Leandra who is five. My wife is currently uh, pursuing a degree in marketing education and uh, my children, Leandra is in kindergarten and Caleb is in first grade. Uh, my life at home, my wife actually sometimes forgets that I have a disability, which is a blessing and a curse. She doesn't care to tell me, John, the gutters on the house need to be cleaned. Uh, John, take the trash out. You know, I've got a honeydew list a mile long. And she doesn't treat me any different than anyone else would treat me. She expects the same from me as anyone else. The thing with losing your sight, there are some advantages. One, for example, I'm not able to judge a book by its cover. Whether the person is white, black, red, green, I'm more than willing to listen to what they have to say. The curing of my retinitis pigmentosis looks very, very promising. The research from uh, Penn State, they have actually cured the disease in dogs in, that have retinitis pigmentosis and they have regained full function of their eye. Some words of advice that I would have to give to those persons that would be in my position would be don't give up. Don't ever give up. And don't sit around and feel sorry for yourself because it comes a point in time that the only one left feeling sorry for you is you. And I think it was Henry Ford that said whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. And I live by that every day. If I can go to college and succeed, I know that you can go to college and succeed. I want to be a role model for my children.